Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back from the dead. How are y'all doing? Today, I'm off from work, which means I want to do something. And I got a couple projects in mind, but I think what I'm going to do today is build a rack mount. Rack? Rack? I don't know what the, what the proper way to call them is. It's just a, a equipment rack, basically. I'm redoing my music studio, as you can tell by all the guitars I have and recording equipment. Um, and I got a new interface, and it's a rack mountable one. And the way that my desk is, I think it would be better if I put it on the rack. But I don't have a rack, and buying them is expensive. So I'm going to just build one. I already got some rack rails. It's a 12U rail system, I believe. So uh, I just need to go get some wood, because I don't have anything except OSB. And I really don't want to build this out of OSB. So I'm going to go spend all of my money on buying a couple pieces of wood. For reference, this is my new interface. It's a Personas Studio Live 24R, 24 uh, input. I think it's a 32 channel. Got all the bells and whistles and everything. I used to have a uh, Tascam 8, no, 16 input, whatever it was. It was a good interface and it's pretty much what I needed. I don't usually need 24 channel, but the drivers suck. This was the Tascam one. Well, if you would focus. Focus? Eh, 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 eh. There we go. Yeah, this one right here. It's a, it's an okay interface. It's just, the drivers in the software is really bad. I would constantly have it disconnecting from software and it would disconnect from the computer and the USB was bad and I don't know. It was, it was fine for what I needed because I really don't need more than 16 inputs. But that was the other thing too is half of them are XLR input. And the preamps on this are kind of garbage so that a lot of my, uh, a lot of the microphones for micing up a drum kit I would have the uh, input gain all the way down and it would still be peaking. And on the other side, in half the inputs, um, or actually the last six, eight inputs, are quarter inch and they don't have any sort of trim ability. It's just a level switch, which isn't really ideal. So, got this. So anyway, since I have this on my desk right now, it works fine, but I've got a giant 19 channel snake that I built um, that's connected to this, and this is kind of on the desk and it's in the way, and my desk is messy. Don't pay attention to that, I'm working on it. Um, so anyway, putting this on a rack, having it down below the desk would be great. So I designed a rack in Fusion 360 because my Autodesk inventor license expired because I had a student license for when I was in college and now it's gone. So sad face, but Fusion 360 is good. Built this. Um, I just need to go to the store and get some wood and some casters. And hopefully I can do that without spending all of the money that I have. In case you were wondering, Lowe's has these new digital labels. Um, they're actually like e-ink labels. Um, they, they did that around the time of COVID because the prices on wood was changing so often they couldn't keep up with actually changing the labels as often as they would change so they went to that style that way they can just digitally change all the prices overnight uh, without having to have someone actually go through and change them all because the prices on things are going up crazy right now so I wish the whole store had those it would save me a lot of time I'll tell you that all right so I'm back from the store and I got myself a way too expensive piece of wood this is a 16 by 8. Um, my the rack is going to be 16 inches deep, so it's easier just to buy a piece of solid 16 inch wood. I don't have to worry about cutting that dimension, which is nice. Um, I need to cut out two 19 and a 16 inch long boards for the tops and bottoms, and I'm also going to do a 22 and a half inch height. It'll stack be stacked on top. Here's the CAD design, right? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. So basically just going to do that. Not really the most complicated thing in the world. I thought about doing some complicated joinery and stuff like that, but I'm not going to be bothered. I'm just going to put a couple angle brackets, glue it up, and be done with it. I can't find my speed square. Oh boy. I was hoping this wood would be square. It's not square. I normally like buying uh, like pre-cut lumber because like it's factory edge and everything should be square, but that's uh, it's pretty not square. You pay three times as much for lumber and uh, it's not even good. Find my speed square. Another sanity check. Yeah, it's definitely not square. Okay. It's not square, but it's squarer than before. I can live with that. Nice. 
that wasn't really how it was supposed to go, but uh, I feel like it was my fault. I doubt this thing's gonna be able to see it, but uh, big old crack. Well, not crack, but failed glue joint. Good times. So we got the thing finally done. I didn't paint it because, you know, I'll do that some other time. But I got the casters on it. Got the interface mounted up in there. Looks pretty good. Got the uh, snake cable connected to it. In case you're wondering, that's a custom made 19 channel snake cable. <laughs> it's 18 channel and then I have one return because I wired one of the connectors backwards. But uh, we'll ignore that. So that's connected up to it. Got a DI box connected to it. Goes to the speakers. These are the Cali uh, LP6. And then just connects to my computer. This is a old computer in a new case, and then my main gaming computer is in the other room. But yeah, studio's working well now. If you're into the kind of thing, this uh, software that comes with this uh, Personas uh, interface is awesome. Well, it's, it's technically a digital rack mixer, but you know it's got a, it works as an interface as well, which is what I use it for. It's awesome. It's great. It's very very good software. So anyway, it was a fun little build. It looks terrible, but hey, it's done and it was cheap. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this little fun project video and uh, until the next video I'll see y'all later.